on June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3 by 3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. Location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hello, my name is Sun Haoxuan. I am 10 years old and I am Chinese. I start, I start to study Cosface in 2019 and uh, I successfully entered the file of Cosface Ridge and uh, res Rescue Rookie and uh, I am very happy this time. I applied the color feature control turn and uh, my own little TV creativity to complete the charger when I finished it I feel I felt I felt very fulfilled I love cosplays I will show myself better in the files Thank you. My name is Ang Kai Rui and I am from Singapore. I am in the Cold Space Rescue First Steps U12 category. I had my first robotics class in school in my second grade and am very excited to be participating in this year's RoboCup competition. In this competition, I had to program my robot to collect as much treasures as possible and then deposit them in certain collection zones while avoiding traps which will cause my robot to lose all collected treasures. I used three important strategies to maximize the amount of treasures deposited in the given time. Firstly, I used the map's XY coordinates to divide the map into areas where there are traps and areas where there are none. I coded my robot to move faster in areas without traps so as to pick up more treasures. For areas with traps, I programmed the robot to slow down so as to avoid driving into the traps. Let's take a look at this map. The sections circled in blue are those without traps. Notice how my robot is able to move fast in those areas. The section circled red contains traps or are near traps. Notice how my robot slows down in those areas. Secondly, I fine-tune the turning speeds of the left and right wheel when the robot is near the wall or an obstacle so as to randomize its path. This enables it to cover as much ground as possible. As the treasures were scattered randomly on the map, this fine-tuning will increase the chance that my robot will find a treasure or deposit box along its path. Let's look at the map again. Notice how my robot bounces off the wall and moves towards the center of the map where there are many treasures. See how my robot is able to wiggle through the corridor between the wall and an obstacle to pick up treasures near the corner. Thirdly, I program my robot to deposit treasures when there are at least one treasure loaded onto the robot. 
This prevents a situation when time is running out and the robot is fully loaded. The robot will be unable to collect any additional treasures along its path in, it, in the remaining seconds. Let's see how this might happen. In this instance, the robot is unable to collect anything in the remaining 30 seconds because it is already full. In a different instance, the robot deposited the treasures before it was full and is able to collect treasures in the remaining 30 seconds. To further improve my robot's performance, I will use the compass to direct my robot towards the collection zones and away from the traps. This is a strategy I will try to implement during the finals. See how the robot is moving away from the trap and how it moves towards the deposit zone. The RoboCup challenge has been a wonderful experience for me. I learned to use available information such as XY coordinates to alter my robot behavior in different sections on the map. I learned how little changes such as altering how much my robot turns can have a big impact on how much area the robot can cover. I also learned to plan decision trees on Excel, code, and test to see whether there are any bugs in my code. The RoboCup challenge has been an enjoyable experience for me. It was very satisfying to watch my robot being become better at performing its task as I added more logic into the AI program. Thank you for watching! And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue robot is full. Blue robot needs to make a deposit before it can continue collecting. Red robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Red robot is depositing.
Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. One minute left. Red robot is leading. Blue robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue robot is full. Blue robot needs to make a deposit before it can continue collecting. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is full. Red Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations!